Hey buddy, watch this. Hello, hello, Regis Kilbin is the name, and Overwatch is the game. That's right, a brand new hero was just released on the public test realm. This is Orisa, a new tank character. And obviously this is my first look at the hero because she just hit the PTR like an hour ago. So uh, I will admit before I go on that I haven't been playing very much Overwatch lately, so I'm going to be super rusty and uh, a little embarrassing even though I'm playing against AI. But I'm still going to try to provide as many insights as I can here to give you guys a first look at this character's abilities, their ultimate ability. Uh, we'll also talk about their playstyle, look at some skins and emotes and all kinds of fun stuff. So... That said, let's go ahead and jump right in and see if we can't uh, learn what this new character's abilities are all about. And I've set up a custom match here. Uh, not going to be playing too much at first, but uh, mostly we just want to see um, what she's about. So, okay. Sort of a machine gun fire here. That's the main click. The, the alt click is some kind of... Uh, I don't know, big ball of energy. Looked a bit like Zarya, perhaps, but less uh, floaty, more straight line. Anyway, we can probably learn about this by hitting uh, F1 here for Orisa. So she's rated as a two-star difficulty, so somewhere in the middle. Uh, Fusion Driver is her primary fire. Automatic projectile weapon slows Orisa while firing. Okay, so she's moving, you know, standard pace, moves slower, much like... Uh, Diva or someone feels about the same. Maybe a little bit faster than Diva, but similar idea. Uh, her Q is called Ultimate, or it's not called Ultimate, that is her Ultimate called Supercharger. Uh, deploy a device that increases damage inflicted by your allies. So a damage buff. Uh, we don't have that ready just yet. Uh, we need to find some people to fight, I guess, to get our, our Q charged up. I don't even know what my shift is. I've hit it a couple times, but we haven't, uh... Waiting for players. No one's in my lobby. I thought I set it to add AI. Well, I guess we're going to read about her abilities first, and then that Q is going to fill up eventually. Uh, so there's also E, protects a barrier. Throw a device that creates a barrier. All right, let's see if we can find some open space here. All right, so a little bit. It's, it's basically half Winston half Reinhardt here. So, you know, a half circle almost. Um, similar to Reinhardt probably in width. Maybe a little wider even. But not a full full globe like Winston. I don't know the, the shield values on either of those characters offhand. Uh, but this is 900 for anyone that does know that context. So, I feel like that's probably bigger than Winston's, but smaller than... Uh, I'm pretty sure it's smaller than Reinhardt's, but still enough, you know? And, and frankly, the fact that it has this just slight bevel to it is significant. Like, you're going to be able to tuck away on this side of it and um, essentially make your character somewhat covered. Oh, by the way, this is what the character looks like from three dimensions. That was awesome. She looks so cool. Like, she has four legs. She's huge. She's a robot. Has a machine gun arm. Like, that's a great design. She's African-themed from Numbani. Uh, the origin story for this character is, I guess, some, some girl in the wreckage of Umbani, some local African girl, found a robot that was supposed to be defending the city and sort of rebuilt it. Following my program. Anyway, she rebuilt it to look uh, like this. I don't think the regular robots had four legs, so that's pretty cool. I like this design a lot. It feels like the hitbox could be huge, though. I mean, just that trailing, you know, second half of her body there. From the side in particular, she looks so enormous. Like, the front profile is wide, but the side profile is just stupid. So, I don't know how that hitboxing is going to be relevant, but do certainly keep that in mind. Uh, so, we'd like to protect your barrier. There's also fortify her E. Reduce damage taken, and you cannot be stopped. Cool. So, you just, um... It's your shift. Can't be slowed or stopped, I guess. You're just going to run through. I'd like to know what that looks like, but i going to have to deal with it for now. And uh, finally, there's Halt. That's the right click we saw earlier. You launch a Graviton Charge, and then you detonate it with a right click again. The sphere slows and pulls nearby enemies to it. Oh, cool. So you launch it out. This is fantastic. That's awesome. What a high, <coughs> high skill cap ability, I presume. And then it's going to slow and pull people into it. 
But man, it really feels like it moves fast at the end of its um, cast. Like it seemed pretty slow at first, but like when it gets far trying to time that, it's going to be ridiculous. It's going to take a lot of practice to get good at that. But what a cool ability! So it's going to—it says it's going to slow and pull nearby enemies to it. So that's sort of a you know a combo builder on a really short eight-second cooldown, which is nice. It's you know it's not a Zarya ultimate that's going to suck people in and hold them there, but I bet it can make pretty significant plays. I wonder if you could even pull people up in that scenario right there. I don't know. We'll have to see it in action against some bots. And our Q is almost ready, so let's read about that against Supercharger. Deploy a device that increases damage inflicted by your allies. So, something like Ana maybe, but I don't know if you have to stay in the range or how it works here. So we're going to drop this, this drum thing, and how far away can we get with it still working? Seemingly very far. And it, it reactivates when you come back in? Yeah, it does. So it is it is range-based, but that's a really wide area, as long as people are nearby. So it's going to be really helpful. Assaulting points and <clears throat> perhaps defending guards and stuff. Who knows? It's just, you know, I don't know how much the damage increase is, but I'm sure it's balanced and significant. So it feels like it's going to be a really good point-based ability. So that said, let's, let's see if we can add some some robots here. Why aren't these robots... Why aren't they in my game, guys? Anybody know? I want some AI in my game to shoot at. Custom game restarted by the moderator. Yeah, how do I... Back to the lobby? Start. Okay. Entering game. Sorry for this. Technical difficulties. I'm not quite sure how to... How do I get AI into the lobby? Hmm. I don't know. Let's see if we can do... Um, let's see if we can't do the training mode, which I normally do to shoot some robots and stuff. Earlier this wasn't loading up because I think the PTR was basically slammed by all the people in it. But now it looks like it's working just fine. So this is normally where I do my first looks at new heroes. So this will give us a better idea. So, uh, yeah, let's... Yeah. Damage feels fine. Feels pretty good. Like I said, I haven't played much in a while, so take that with a grain of salt. But even the, you know, medium range didn't seem to drop off too significantly. Yeah. That felt really good for medium range. Far better than someone like D.Va. There's a little bit of, um, you know, wiggle on the projectiles. You can see the... It's not a very pre incredibly precise, but it's not bad. You have a 200 clip, by the way, so not unlimited, as you might expect with D.Va. Uh, so yeah, let's take a look at our... I don't know if we're going to be able to visualize our shift. It reduces the amount of damage we take, but... I don't know if we'll be able to see that. But we can see our um, right click, I bet. Oh, it pulls people together a lot! And faster than I expected for some reason, so let's see if we can't... Sort of hit this guy at the max range and suck him in. Oh, it even has a little green line. That's awesome. That's going to be... Good players are going to be able to do crazy stuff with this ability, I suspect. Oh, you could even pull him off cliffs, I bet! Oh my gosh, I'm getting excited now. Oh, yeah. <laughs> oh... That's great! This is like the most fun ability in Overwatch now. Oh, so cool. Oh, I missed on pulling him off the cliff, but you get the idea. You get the idea. That is awesome. And I bet you can pull him up, too. Too far. Too far. <laughs> How cool, though. It kind of showed... I don't know if you saw that, but it kind of shows you... Like a a low opacity line when you know that you're on them. <laughs> I could do that all day. <laughs> oh, it's great, the poor robot. So in other words, um, you can kind of get a feel for when to press the button based on whether or not the green line is visible. So let's let's watch this one more time. See the green line popped up right there. 
Even before... Oh, did I move him right onto the... Apparently he's still right on the, uh, the railing there, but... So I, I wonder how hard this is to activate at close range. Sort of hard, like, to click it fast enough. I mean, I'm, I'm obviously not mechanically very skilled, so... I'm sure other people won't have problems, but... It felt just a little... So it doesn't really pull them, unless you're, you know, perpendicular to their plane. That makes sense. Oh, there we go, that worked. Alright, so, um, let's try to get a feel for the Q real fast, just how much damage it does, right? Basically, one bullet does about a full bar. Yeah, about a full bar. So let's drop our Q. About a bar and a half? Yeah, about a bar and a half. So not actually that significant on us. I mean, 50%, I guess. It's not bad at all. It's going to help you shred people. Your team's organized and calculated with it. Man, that right click is just so much fun. I wonder. I wish you could use it on allies, too. To <laughs> just to up the skill cap even more. It also slows enemies, not just pulls them nearby. So that's intriguing. But, yeah, what a cool ability. So not a lot of movement on this hero... Um, you know, uh, seems to be, you know, not a, certainly not a diving style hero to me, although she does have this shift that allows her to just run in, uh, unimpeded, unimpeded, I mean. So maybe she is, I don't really know, I don't, I don't know enough about the meta right now, and certainly I'm not uh, familiar enough with this character to really say how exactly this big robot's gonna work, but... I like the kit. It's really fun. I like the style of the character. So there's a lot of good pieces here. And that's to be expected with Overwatch, right? Like, Blizzard has the character design here down uh, to an art. So that's not at all surprising to me. So I think what I'd like to do now that we've gotten a feel for the character's abilities and sort of seen her in action, although I'm not really going to play a, a legitimate game because that would be just too embarrassing for me. What I'd like to do is go take a look at her... I didn't even realize, does the right click actually do damage, or just... One last thing, one last thing. I'm gonna go look at emotes and skins and all that fun stuff in a second, but I don't I don't even know if I realized that it does damage or not, and I keep missing, so I need to, <laughs> need to make sure I hit this next one, or this is gonna take a while. The jump animation's a little janky, by the way. Like, it's got kind of a two-step... It's a little, little troublesome. So now... It, that didn't actually appear to hit anyone somehow. I don't know if I clipped the wall just the wrong way. So clearly it doesn't work through walls. So no, no damage, just totally movement based. Okay, that's that's good to know. Does even the projectile do damage if it hits them like dead on? No, no damage at all. Okay. Anyway, so uh, let's go ahead and take a look at, uh, what's her name, Osira? Yeah, o Oh no, Orisa. Sorry, I got it backwards. Orisa, let's take a look at her um, skins and emotes and all that fun new stuff if we can. So head into the Hero Gallery. Orisa, really cool looking character. Wow. I like the big kind of uh, drum looking jetpack jet engines up here. They look like African drums, but they're also like jetpacks. Really, really cool. Okay, so uh, skins up first. We got some different colors here. That's pretty sharp. Uh, I feel like maybe the blue and the orange just feels a little disconnected from the the blue and the white, but still pretty bad, pretty nice. That to me looks sort of like the standard, just more green, I guess. All right, it's pretty cool. Like the purple pink a lot. That's good. Camo's awesome. It's got a rhino icon on her. Uh, loincloth there instead of the standard sort of A. Cart, what? That's cool. That is awesome. Wow. I love the new, like, face design is cool. That is sleek and slick. I love it. It's got, it's called carbon fiber and it's got the nice carbon fiber texturing on a lot of the panels, which is awesome. Dynastine. I don't know. That's probably a reference to something, but I'm not sure what. Uh, I don't love this one quite as much. It's fine. It's like a beetle of some sort, it looks like. It's alright. Not my favorite. The carbon fiber slick, though, man. That is awesome. 
Comparing those two, silly. The Mega Soma. Uh, this is the same model here, of course, as the Denostene, as you'd expect. Yeah, not much here for me either. It still looks like a bug, looks like a Nubarak or something. Reminds me a bit of like Cyber Anubarak from Here's the Storm. And then finally got the Protector, which is the color variation on the Carbon Fiber. This one's nice too, but it just doesn't have quite the same appeal as the Carbon Fiber. This has got to be one of the best looking skins in the game. That's just so cool. Don't get me wrong, I'd use this one. This is the second best. It looks fantastic. <laughs> if there wasn't the Carbon Fiber, I'd think the Protector was amazing. But the Carbon Fiber just makes it too good. So, uh, weapons here, same stuff, just to zoom in here on the weapons, same story, carbon fiber still looks amazing. Alright, so let's go back and uh, check out some emotes. That's like the most boring emote in history. Ah, cool. I think that's a Robocop reference maybe, I'm not sure, but I like it. <laughs> Kicking dirt, that's stupid. <laughs> it's like a dog. So you'd have to go with a halt here. That's far and away the best uh, the best of the emote options. Victory poses, we got heroic. We got confident, that's pretty good. Flex, oh, that's good. Got that Zarya look kind of. Halt again, I guess you'd have to go with the halt again. It's pretty awesome. I'm simply following my programming. Voice sounds a bit familiar to me, I don't know. Uh, sprays, probably nothing too exciting or worth looking at here. Here is the uh, the character that built this robot, if you're not familiar, I think her name is like Effie something, I, I can't quite remember, but uh, that's, that looks really good. So there's just some incredible artwork in these um, sprays that you just, you never really take the time to look at. But it's really, really good stuff. Like, look how beautiful that is. It's fantastic. Here's your logo. Oh, the pixel art works good as always. And there's a halt again. That should be all the uh, character specific ones there. Uh, highlight intros. These are always my favorite. Heroic again. Very boring. Oh, that's cool. Her shield is red right there. I don't remember the shield being red. That looks like the enemy shield almost. <laughs> That's cute. I like the eyes. <laughs> you notice the eyes emote like uh, like emoticons almost. Supercharger. Eh, I don't really like the supercharger. I think you gotta go with the O here. That's a pretty good one. Supercharger is just a little too cluttered. I don't know, like, you could, it'd look a little better without the stuff on the screen, obviously, but that's just a little too bright and too in your face. So, uh, let's take a look at the golden gun. Pretty nice. Look at the detailing here on the, the circular part. And there you go. That's, uh, that's Orisa's skins and, uh, emotes and all that fun stuff. So... Yeah, that's going to wrap it up for me and the latest Overwatch hero. I can't believe they've already added another new hero. It seems like um, the last two, Sombra and even Anna, weren't really that long ago since the game came out. I guess we're actually nearing on a year since the game's released, and it's been about 10 months. So three heroes in 10 months, I guess, isn't actually that rapid. But uh, still, you know, it's all free if you've bought the game, so... Nice additions like that, uh, you can't complain for a game that you've already paid for and gotten tons of fun out of, as is always the case with Overwatch. So, yeah, I'm excited to see this uh, hero in action and some competitive play. I'm, I'm curious how she's going to hold up, but I love the design. Really fantastic and fun. So, all that said, uh, I encourage you guys to hop on the PTR if you can. I don't know when this hero is actually going to be hitting the live servers, so who knows? It'd probably be pretty soon, given the Overwatch development cycle. They're, they're pretty fast with stuff. But if you want to play her now, you can go ahead and hit up the PTR and uh, have some fun with the brand new hero. But until then, thanks so much for watching, and until next time, game on.